On examination, there's no abnormalities in the periphery. His nails are quite normal, no clubbing, no splinters, uh, and there's no anemia. Examining the pulse, the rad radial pulse, it's a uh, sinus rhythm, quite regular, normal volume and character. And moving up to the carotid, just to check the volume and correct character better, we can feel that uh, its carotid artery feels quite normal. The character is not slowly rising or collapsing, the volume is quite normal. The JVP is also normal, you can see quite clearly it's not elevated. And examining the precordium, feel for the position of the apex, which is within normal limits. Uh, the left ventric impulse also feels quite normal, it's not um, exaggerated. But one has a suspicion that you can just about feel a little systolic thrill. The right ventricle uh, impulse is quite normal. There's no evidence of right ventricular hypertrophy. And there's no systolic therials in the aortic or palmy areas. Now, an auscultation at the apex. easily heard um, mitral pan-systolic murmur, which is nearly a holo-systolic, i.e. nearly goes right through a systole, but there is a small gap between the first heart sound and the onset of the murmur. And if we follow this murmur around, See whether we can hear it in the exeter. You can hear it quite well around in the exeter. Still hear it quite nicely here. Coming the other way, you can hear it quite nicely here as well. to get softer and fade away as you move over into the aortic area. And there's no radiation of the murmur up into the base of the neck at all. Now sometime these murmurs of mitral valve prolapse, which this is, can radiate into the back very well. And if we sit him forward and have a listen to the back, around about here, one can um, hear the murmur very well. Which is uh, typical of a uh, much of our prolapse. Now I want to go back to the apex again and just check for mitral diastolic murmurs. Let's move him on to his left side. Can you just turn? Now there is a soft third heart sound which you sometimes get with mitral agitation, but there's no diastolic murmur. 